Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we'll study about Cascode Current Mirror. So in the previous video, we studied about the basic current mirror circuit and its working. So in this video, we are going to study Cascode Current Mirror. So before going further, let's recall what we studied in the previous video and what assumptions we made while studying the basic current mirror. So this was the circuit. We have a reference current IR and output current IO and we have two MOSFETs M1 and M2. So for M1 gate and drain are connected. So M1 is always in saturation. Okay. So this is gate to source voltage. Hence the VD1 also is VGS. Okay. So the VDS1 will be equal to VGS. So for this circuit, let's write down what is the drain to source that is VDS1, VGS1 and VDS2. Okay, so VDS1 is equal to VGS1, this is equal to VGS and also VGS2 is equal to VGS because both are interconnected. But VDS2 we are not sure, okay, what is this output that is VD drain to source. This, this is VDS2, okay. And then we had written current equations. So IR would be mu n C ox W1 upon L1. Two, two will come here. And then VGS minus VT the whole square. And we had ignored the channel length modulation effect. Okay. So that would be that we ignored uh, for the basic current mirror. But it will have its own effect. So let's see what happens if we don't ignore the channel length modulation effect. In that time, the current equation will become, we'll need to add 1 plus lambda VDS1. So this part will come if we include the channel length modulation effect. So let's see what will happen if we include this, how the current equation looks. Okay. So I'm just writing that with channel length modulation. So this is 1 plus lambda VDS1. Now next IO would be mu n C ox W2 upon twice L2 VGS minus VT whole square and 1 plus lambda VDS2. So IO upon IR would be so this everything gets cancelled and if you assume that L1 equal to L2 equal to say L that is both are of same length the channel then we get W2 upon W1. So this was the equation which we got in the previous video. So the reference current uh, sorry output current will be reference current into W2 upon W1. So based on the width of the MOSFET, you can replicate the current IO accordingly. So IO would be, say if you want 2 times IR, then you can set width as 2 times W2 and W2 should be 2 times W1. So in that case, okay. So we arrived at this equation. However, at that time we had excluded the channel length modulation effect. But with channel length modulation effect, we get these two terms in the numerator and denominator. 1 plus lambda into VDS2 and 1 plus lambda VDS1. So we saw that VDS1 equal to VGS1 equal to VGS. So this will become W2 upon W1. So this is, you can write it as VGS. However, still there is a difference in the terms, this numerator and denominator, okay. VDS2 is not equal to VDS1. VDS2 is not equal to VDS1. Hence, you may not get the exact mirrored current, okay. So even if you set W2 equal to 2 times W1, you won't get IO equal to 2 times IR. So it would be different from this okay because of channel length modulation effect so to get exact 
twice IR if W2 equal to 2W1, we should ensure that VDS2 is also equal to VDS1. Okay. So this is a requirement which is not possible with this basic circuit. Okay. Hence, to achieve this equation or uh, this result that is VDS2 equal to VDS1, to achieve this result, we have one more circuit called as cascode current mirror. So it will ensure VDS2 is equal to VDS1 or at least almost 99.9% .9 equal to VDS1. At that time, we can ensure IU equal to 2 times IR. Okay. So that's why we have to study the cascode current mirror because of this dissimilarity. That is VDS2 is not equal to VDS1. Hence, we get the output current which is not exactly the exact uh, 2 times or 3 times whatever the ratio of W2 upon W1. It will be different from that. This ratio will not determine the exact output current. Okay. Means that factor is not defined by only W2 upon W1. However, it is also defined by this term. 1 up plus lambda VDS2 upon 1 plus lambda VDS1. Okay. So, now we got to know that to ensure proper working of current mirror, we should make sure that even VDS2 is, should be equal to VDS1. So that is achieved by the next circuit which we are going to study in this video. For proper functioning of current mirror, we need to ensure that VY is equal to VX. Okay. Uh, let me write it. So V capital Y should be equal to V capital X. That is these two voltages should be equal. Okay. So for that to happen, we need to modify our basic current mirror circuit. Okay. We need to add one more MOSFET M3. Okay. Let's say this MOSFET M3 will ensure VY is equal to VX. And this MOSFET also will need some input gate voltage VB. Okay. So this voltage, so if you add another MOSFET with gate input equal to VB, it will ensure that VY is equal to VX. At that time, our current mirror uh, uh, equation will be IO upon IR will be W2 upon W1 as required. Okay. So this will be achieved if we add another MOSFET M3 with input VB. Now how do we generate VB? Okay. So that will be the question. So let's see. So this is M3 and this is gate to source. This is GS3. So ap applying KVL here, we get VY plus VGS3 should be equal to VB. So this VB should be equal to VY plus VGS3. And also since we want VY equal to VX, we can modify this equation as VX plus VGS3 should be equal to VB. So we can see that if gate to source voltage is added to VX, that is GS3 is added to VX, the required value of VB can be obtained. So by providing that this voltage to the gate of M3, we can ensure that VY is equal to VX. Okay. Now one more modification will help us achieve that, that is to achieve this thing. Okay, so let's add one more MOSFET here and let's connect the drain to gate of this device and let's connect to here. Okay, so let's call it as M4. So M4 drain and gate are connected and if we ensure that M4 has same dimensions as M3 then VGS3 will be equal to VGS4 or we can say VGS4 is equal to VGS3 more appropriately okay so this is gate to source so VX is here so VX plus VGS4 which is nothing but VGS3 if the dimensions are equal will generate some voltage here which is nothing but 
VB, which we required earlier. Okay, VX plus VGS3. So this setup. So what we did? We had a basic current mirror. So we added M3. Why? Because we we saw that if we give enough voltage to M3, such that VX will be equal to VY. Okay. Uh, let me repeat. So the idea was to add a MOSFET M3 and give it sufficient input voltage VB such that VY is equal to VX. And what should be the value of VB was the question. So at that time we came to this conclusion that VB should be equal to VX plus VGS3. So how to generate VGS3 since we already have VX here. So we added another MOSFET connected drain and gate. So it has same dimensions as M3. So VGS4 is equal to VGS3. So here we generated the value that is VB. So VX will get added to VGS4 which is nothing but VGS3. So the sum will be VB4. Okay. Thus we have VB to M3 which will ensure VY equal to VX. So that was the uh, what result which we needed in the first place okay to achieve vy is equal to vx at that time we get current io which flows here and reference current will now flow here ir so io upon ir will now depend only on m2 and m1 i mean width of m2 and m1 okay so thus the only additional thing needed was m3 and m4 M3 was normal CMOS and M4 was a diode connected device. But the width, length and every other parameter should remain same for M3 and M4. Okay. So this additional setup which is required for the basic current mirror, this whole thing is called as cascode current mirror. Okay. So this additional thing plus basic current mirror is called as cascode current mirror. Okay, so this additional setup will eliminate the channel length modulation effect that is this 1 plus lambda VDS2 upon 1 plus lambda VDS1 factor which was there earlier, earlier in this current equation that is IO upon IR we had additional 1 plus lambda VDS2 and 1 plus lambda VDS1. So what we did by this circuit is we achieved VDS2 equal to VDS1 at that time this whole thing gets cancelled okay and then we have only this equation IO upon IR, IR is equal to W2 upon W1 okay so this is the working of cascode current mirror uh, but there is some problem here uh, with this uh, cascode current mirror means the output swing will be limited okay so this at this point we should maintain a sufficient voltage okay sufficient voltage so the output should be equal to some voltage so below that this whole thing won't work okay so that is one uh, what do you say uh, disadvantage with this circuit okay so the output swing will be between VDD to some voltage okay VDD is the say battery voltage 5 volt and there will be some it will not be 0 volt obviously so it will be say up to 0 0.4 volt so we should maintain at least 0 0.4 volt just for reference I'm saying so we'll study in detail about this uh, what are the problems with this cascode current mirror in the next video so for now this should be the enough so if you have any doubts please use the comment section uh, so I have explained the whole design how to how we achieved the final circuit so if you see the final circuit this is how they approached the design that okay so that's all then. Thank you guys for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe.